now the fun part, cable routing. Okay, so this is what came with the set. Uh, first of all, to recognize things in the pack, uh, these are for the shifters, the uh, gears. Uh, they're smaller, thinner cables because you've got less pressure and smaller nodules on top. And then those are for the brakes. Uh, you've also got these little bits here. Uh, I'll get to these later. Those are the caps, you just squeeze on. And then you've got the guides that go into the uh, levers themselves. And then you've got a couple of spare, well, let's just say bit spares, so we can put them between uh, the frame and the derailers, um, etc. So these are the uh, shifter cables. Please beware, there are two lengths. So obviously, with the right-hand side, that changes the rear derailleur, so you need the longer length. Just be careful with that. You need to pull the hood back as far as it'll go. And it's quite difficult because you need to get in to that part by there. You need to make sure that the shifter has been changed all the way down so that there's a clear hole all the way through. What you do is you feed it through. Now there's a plastic clip on the other side. There it is. So that's all you have to do is just pop it out and it just sort of dangles there. It's no big deal. There we are. That's where the cable will come through and then you'll put one of those black cable ends there so it feeds through. So through. Okay, it's not going at the moment, so I need to change it. There we are. Feed it all the way through. And then on the end, you need to, little tool, you need to push it down into the locator. There, there and push it in so it's nice and snug in by there. You can also pull it from the other side, try not to bend the cable. On the other end, I'm gonna put one of the black heads. So I'll just show this from the front at the moment. Just put it like that. Just feed it all the way over the cable. There. You just bring it to the front and you just slot it in place. It doesn't go in all the way. That sticks out a bit by there. Then you just click that back into place. Happy days. Okay, so with the brakes, you put it through that little hole by there and I'll show you right now. So just like that, there are two cable lengths. Please be aware of this because if you put the shorter one in, it will not reach the rear brakes. So nice and slowly you feed it through and it just pops out the other end. There we are. So it's exactly the same for both sides and I'm just going to leave the cables um, hang over the bike until I cut the sheaths. Yeah, so feed it all the way through until you get to the end. And then with the end, it just pops in like so. As you can see, that's a hefty nodule on the end just to cope with the pressures of braking. And then pull the cable on the other end. Just hold it tight. Okay, so you need to do this on both sides. And I'm just going to leave the cables hang there for a bit until I get to measuring out the sheaths and placing it all together. Okay, so I'm going to put the shifter sheaths on first. So I'm just going to place it here through there um, and just sort of get an idea of the size. You need enough space for that. That's too long at the moment, that's standard to pack. So enough space to extend the stem if you require in the future. That's around there. Now I've compared that to my other propel and I'm just going to cut around, what's that, about four centimetres off. So as a reference, I'm going to use the head of my um, snip spray here. So sort of there. Uh, these are not great, but these are all I have at the moment. My other tools are in work. A couple of presses and it'll come off. Okay, there we go. Got it in the end. Um, so just use the ends. To rotate and just open flange that out so i'm going to do the rear shifter first i've left the head off by there because that's going to go into that black cap that we've already placed so feed the cable through yeah and place it into there I'm going to tuck it in nicely there i'm just going to run it around the handlebars now, I'm going to feed that in the back slot 
and then it'll come out the bottom for there. Where is it? There it is. So just carefully, carefully, carefully. And there you have it. In there and out the back. Okay, so I've done the other side and I'm going to thread this one through as well. So position the camera better now so you can see. So the correct configuration is long cable on the short side and the short cable on the long side because this supports this um, to twist on quite a steep angle like that because it needs to come back at the frame. I'm going to feed this first into the arm, I believe. That's straight into the arm, okay. Now down here, let me bring the camera around. Down here is where we need to get the cable out. And this is where I'm gonna be using the magnet. You can hear it. So I know it's for there. So I'm just gonna follow it, like you can hear it clearly. We are, I know it's there. I can't see it at the moment because actually I'm gonna to have to move the camera, but it's there. I'm in the right spot. Just need to get it higher up. It's easier to do this when you don't have to film it. There's um, there's a notch inside there as well um, to um, obviously take the pressure when you put the uh, the cable end in there. So it's just getting past that bit it is. So the cable is here. I can feel it. Okay, nice. Okay, so that took longer on this bike than my other bike, but there we are. A lovely example here. This cable head needs to push against. So there we are, I'll just pull that through. Um, this bit came in the uh, pack as well, so that's all you do, you three feed that through, feed it through, and that goes there, into that spot there, and that goes into that part of the rear derailleur. And there you have it. This goes through part by there and you just pull on the tension, where is it, there. Um, and it's perfect that it's on a turbo trainer because you're gonna need to move the pedals and you're not gonna need to um, change the gears. So the last bit now is to feed this up through the front derailleur. So this is a bit of a pain. So through there, patience is a virtue. I get the magnet again. I can't see anything here. Okay, so I can hear it up the shaft too far. Okay, that took a bit longer than I expected. So, feed it up. So that sits nicely underneath. And that just needs to be held there. And then those will tighten up as we tighten the cables. So for the brake cables, that's all you have to do is um, cut them to the size you want. So I've already got a propel, so I've just measured up to the propel. These are much easier to cut than the um, shifter ones. So that's all you're going to do then is clean that up. So I've run that over um, a metal file just to get in any sharp pieces out of the way. And then I've used insulating tape to run it along the bars. And then you just put it, uh, run it into your noodle, put it into the noodle, and then you just adjust it as you wish. Great. So the rear brake is interesting. You put that uh, brake sheath over it. Remember to put the head on it. And in this pack, they were the silver heads. Um, that's the cut. Uh, there's no metal rubbing against the actual cable. So this now has got to go run through there, along the top frame, and then out down into the brakes. So it's the same technique, magnet. So when it goes, I'm trying to keep a gauge in it. So if I know that that is the exit hole, that's where my finger is, I know that it's around there. So in we go, I'm then going to Try and flick it. Have a look. Where is this? And yeah, I can see it. 
I just need to feed it. There we are. <laughs> I'm really surprised with that. That was easy. Okay, so that comes through. Nice and gentle. That slots by there. That goes by there. And then the other bit that goes on the back. This didn't come with the kit. This was on the bike already. So that goes in by there. And that fits in nicely under there. Lovely. Make sure it make sure it clicks in. Right, so as it comes out the back, down through the noodle, and that's excessive at the moment, but um, I'll adjust it all later. So that comes up, and if you haven't done this before, it goes like that. Um, there are two, there's two options, depends what size you've got. So that just slots in by there. So that's the setup. Comes down, through, bridge it over, and there is a slot in by there. And then you pull the tension and you tighten it up to whatever tension. Now there's no brake pads at the moment on mine. I need to buy them actually, I forgot about them. So once you tighten them up, put a cap on the end and you plop it in that hole by there just to tidy it up. I'll show you on my other bike, like so. Cable's in place. Yay, that's the worst bit. That's the bit I hate, but it's also um, very, very rewarding when you do it. Okay, so that's how the new system goes. Um, my other bike goes on the other side. I like it, cool. That's the correct way to do it. You're supposed to put the end on the uh, cable sheath. So over here, you've got the cable sticking out. It's the same story in the rear. And you've got the uh, derailleur adjusters as well. Those are all going to be cut. Obviously, you're not going to cycle around looking like the top end of a guitar. I'm going to get these cut around, I don't know, about five centimetres, something like that. So then you can rotate it then and you can place it in that hole when you put the end cap on. Um, obviously, I need to leave space because I've still got a lot of adjusting to do when I get the um, brakes and things. Okay, I've got a chain to put on and then I've got the, uh, the straps to put on the bar. So a little problem I found is getting that cable fed through here because it's got a plastic sheath inside. So the best thing to do, take it out. You can feed the cable through. That's where the cable is. And then put the curved noodle back on and voila. So if you've never done this before, uh, to tidy up the end of the cable, um, just cut it and it doesn't look brilliant. Um, so you just take the end and you place the end on the cable. Um, obviously it's going to come off. So instead of having a crimping tool, you need to get your snippers out again and just gently squeeze. Don't do it too hard. Otherwise, you're just going to cut through it. Do that a couple of times and it's not going anywhere. It's just for uh, tidying it up anyway. And you can rotate that round and you can plop it in like so. So another tip, as you're feeding this through, make sure you've popped this off on the bottom as they come through and you save the stress on the sheath in by here. Yeah, Ollie, agree? Fab. <laughs>